All right, what's going on? Um, so last week I was talking about uh, going to show some tapes this time around, and uh, all these are new except for one that I've had for a little while. I just kind of forgot to show. Um, but I bought all these specifically for the trip to Florida we made, and um, you know, for me it's like an eight and a half to ten hour drive to get down there, depending on how many times you stop. It could actually be a little more. And we were riding with my in-laws, and I was like. I, I've got to have some kind of music. Uh, my iPod doesn't work anymore. I don't have any portable CD player, but I've got a tape deck. And, um, you know, I've kind of listened to all these tapes a thousand times. Let's get a little bit of something different and just, uh, I don't know, pass the time a little bit and not have to gab. Um, so all these, this is basically the stuff I bought uh, for the trip to Florida. And thought we'd go through that real quick. So we're listening to Deface Creation, Serenity and Chaos. You all know me. I'm a huge Aeon fan, and this is just the beginnings of that. And honestly probably my favorite album that this particular band has put out so i know it's not aeon but it is aeon all right so the first one i have is um legendary death metal band from uh japan and um so glad they finally put this one out this is a uh, necrophile awakening those oppressed they've been a band for 30 years plus and finally put out a full eight so now if we can just get sadistic and to do the same thing it doesn't matter <laughs> it's not that big a deal, but I mean, it's just kind of cool that a band's been around for 30 years, and, you know, I think, let's see, when they, I don't remember exactly when they formed, but I know they were putting stuff out in 87, and here it is, 2017, when this one came out, and they finally put out a full length, so it's, it's just kind of cool to see, and what's really, really great about this is it, I mean, they kind of came up in the early stages of, you know, the death metal scene, and this actually sounds like it was recorded back in 1992, so don't act like you can't fucking make shit sound old, because this sounds fucking great. Um, so it came out on uh, Unholy Prophecies. Head Split Records actually did the tape version. I don't think it's limited or anything. It's just, you know, Head Split just happened to put it out. Um, I'll show you the... There's the deck, or the shell, I'm sorry. Just black, so nothing really terribly interesting. And J Card's the same thing. You've just got band photos and lyrics. So uh, I'm going to try to pronounce his name. Uh, Makoto Fushima recorded this, and I think um, Takashi Tanaka, who does uh, guitar and vocals for him, produced it. I don't know enough to say which what the difference is, but I mean, it's, uh, you know, you've got, there's just different ways to do it, I guess. Um, you just sit there and mix it, I guess, or whatever. I don't fucking know. Um, but what's cool though, I know he does uh, drums and vocals for Anatomia, another great Japanese band, and what I didn't know is at one point he was doing drums for Waco Jesus, so that was really interesting to find out. Um, but this is amazing, man. Uh, it sounds old, I mean, it's straight up old school death, what this basically is, so I mean, there's really no reason not to like it. And it's, you know, fucking Necrophile, they've been around for fucking ever, uh, tons of EPs, splits, all that kind of shit, so uh, definitely pick this one up. It sounds old and it, it's just a killer record. Um, this one is a demo I just kind of stumbled upon, and um, I was like, just looking at the art, I was like, that just looks cool enough to check out, and it did, and it's it's, it's pretty good, it's, it's really sick sounding, I love the way they recorded it, it's really raw, uh, this is Putrid Evil, with uh, Mass Grave Over Tortures, um, Death Metal out of Poland, this is the very first release they put out, it's just their first demo, uh, Terror from Hell Records put this out, I don't know if you can see that there, um, I mean, they're, they're labeled as a death metal band, but it's more like death thrash, at least on this release. Um, I don't know, but it's just, it's not a lot of blasting, you know, it's more just straight up riffing. And you kind of get the thrash elements in there as well, sounds really good. Uh, the guitar tone sounds eerily similar to Mayhem on, like, uh, Live in Leipzig. I know that they're, you know, that's a live album, a live recording, and this is, I think they just recorded this themselves in the garage or something. So they sound very similar. They don't sound like Mayhem except for in the guitar tone, so I don't want you to confuse the two, I'm just trying to give you a, a feel of what it sounds like. The riffs are totally different, it's just got that kind of guitar tone going on there. Um, so I think this is limited to 150 copies, I believe. Uh, yeah, I believe there's a digital copy, and outside of that, man, there's just this, and I think they did three splits. They did splits with um, uh, Sacrifuck, Distress, Violent Scum, and I know they did one with another band. I can't remember the name of the band right now. Um, it, that one was a three-way split with one, I think it was Sacrifuck. Um, and that's really all they have. Um, but I guess I can show you. Now, I mean, it's not that big a deal, but I, I 
I kind of like this stuff. Um, this is probably my favorite shell color. I love that color green. It's personal preference, I guess. Um, I like them to be all different colors, man. I don't, I don't know why. I'm just weird like that. Um, the J card here is, uh, again, nothing much to it. But the cover art is fantastic. I actually really, really love that. And, uh, man, you know, you might hear a mistake or two on this. And, you know, it's it's not particularly groundbreaking or innovative or anything like that. It's just a band finding their way. And I think they only formed back in 2014 or so. So, I mean, they've not been around all that long. But I look forward to seeing what they can come up with. Because, I mean, they've, they've put together a really solid demo. And, you know, the sky's only the limit. You can only get better from here. So, it's, it's really cool. If you can find this, definitely go check it out. It's uh, Putrid Evil with... Massgrave over tortures. All right, uh, I, I would imagine that most everyone would know this band in this release for sure. Um, one of their best, and this band has never disappointed me in any way ever. Um, and pretty much the entire time we were down there, this one was getting played the most by far. I listened to this a good, just between driving, I listened to this a good five to six times. I mean, it's a great fucking record. Uh, this is Grave Desecrator with insult classic Black Death out of Brazil and this is honestly one of my favorite releases in the entire collection man I absolutely love this I mean what do you have on here um, Insult uh, Dangerous Cult Decline of Faith uh, Stain by Blood I mean it's just non-stop killer and I do love at the very end where you've got like the the church you know cathedral choir singing you know doing all their oh, you know the whatever you call that the operatic singing and you've got the pig squeals in behind it, like literal pig squeals. It's just, it's great, man. It, it really um, it really captures very well what this band is trying to do on this release. I mean, it's so catchy. It's so good. Um, I don't even know what to say about it. So uh, I believe uh, Ketsuri Records originally put this out in 2010. Uh, Hell Prod or Hell Production, whatever, did this uh, did the tape version, which is limited to 300 copies. And I've got number 174 see that there and uh yeah man i don't even know what to say just an amazing fucking record there's the inside and the band kill shit man if you don't have this one you need to go get it i don't care what version you get this on but just get this album it's just i i, I just cannot stop listening to it it's just amazing black death i mean it's catchy it's in that uh kind of got the sarcophago feel with the uh the raw qualities and the energy and but it's also got a lot of groove to it it's just really well done man grave desecrator never never disappoints for me so go get that this one holy god it was kind of like a wow I, you know you listen to this band for so long and you kind of forget what they used to be you ever have a band like that where it's like you know, they start off in one direction and they completely flip the script and go in a totally different direction, but they're the same band. It's weird how that ends up working. But this is uh, the very first full length from Impiety. Uh, Esoterial Awailing, I guess, which uh, originally came out in 96 on uh, Shivadar Shab something records. It's a defunct record company in the Netherlands now. Uh, so they're no longer around, but yeah, man, debut full length from Singapore Black Death, thrash legends, you know what I mean? Um, and this is back when they were pretty much just a straightforward black metal band. Um, and there's really nothing all that interesting about this. I mean, it's just straightforward, no frills, no mess, no, you know, innovation, no, you know what I mean? It's just black metal and that's all there is to it. And this is way before they started getting into the black thrash and the black death stuff which I, I i love it way more than i like this but it's 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 cool to listen to a band to see where they come from and kind of see the roots and see how they came up through the world um and it's just on a black shell too with a sticker <coughs> excuse me and uh yeah you can definitely tell they were originally a black metal band but i mean it's just kind of weird because sometimes you forget stuff like that at least i did so yeah look at those photos nothing like they are now i mean uh the spikes and shit are still around but that's about it love this photo too it's great um so i think thrashing fist productions put out the tape version and this one came out last year i do believe and it's limited to 200 copies and yeah man pretty much simple black metal nothing compared to what they would do in the years following maybe in the next 
three, four, five, or six, somewhere in there. Uh, but yeah, man, it's, it's still a great album. Um, overall, it's, I mean, it's, it's okay. It doesn't compare to their Black Death stuff that would come later, but I mean, I still enjoy listening to it. Um, it's not so plain Jane that it's, you know, you can't listen to it, but I mean, it's, it's, it's a fun listen. It really is. I just prefer their Black Death stuff, so there that is. And finally, I told you guys back in, where was it? March or April. That I wasn't going to talk about this band for a while, and I think I've laid off. I think I have. I think we can all agree. Uh, I'm, I'm going to break the street, man. I'm going to talk about them. Nun Slaughter. Sorry if you were so sick and tired of me talking about it, but that's whatever. So this is a an interesting one. This is called uh, Black Mass in Hell's Head Bash, which is the live version of the... Uh, let's see. The live version. This is the, uh, the audio release of... Their set from Hell's Head Bash, the very first Hell's Head Bash. So that's all this is. Um, and I think the DVD pretty much captured the entire set. There's one or two songs that aren't on the DVD that appear here. And but it really, as far as that, um, I think that's just about it, man. There's really, I, I should have went back and rewatched the DVD while I was uh, trying to get ready for this video. Um, but it's it's pretty much the exact same thing. I mean, I know I, I'm pretty sure they didn't play God. On the uh, on the DVD, um, I don't think they played her either. And maybe Necrophagia. I mean, I really don't remember, but I mean, for the most part, everything you had on the DVD is on this release. Okay, so uh, the end. Uh, J card's really cool. So you got the uh, concert flyer and a little bit of photos from the uh, and all these photos are on the DVD. So here's the other side. Um, oddly enough, this is not a Hell's Headbangers release. This is a uh, three-way split release between uh, Warfuck Records, Sudaka Records, and South American Holocaust. So that was kind of like, really, Hell's Headbangers didn't put this out. But I mean, that's really all there is to it. It's just a live album. It's not like Nunslaughter hasn't put out live albums before. If you've got it on uh, the DVD, you've pretty much got the entire release. Uh, but there's just a few more songs added on here, which is really why I wanted it. Plus, I'm such a Nun Slaughter fanatic, so I kind of had to have this. Um, yeah, sorry. Sorry to break the streak. I know I've talked about Nun Slaughter too many times on here, but, you know, I've, I've had this a good while. I was like, I've not shown this. I need to I need to put it out there. So, that's, uh, I mean, it's a cool release. So, there's Nun Slaughter, uh, Black Mass and Hill's Head Bash. Um, so, that's it. Uh, we will get back to the 2018 stuff next week. Um, i got to killer batch to show you then and i think the next one after that will be the same so yeah i can't wait to do that so uh, thank you guys so much for watching leave me the like comments all that kind of stuff let me know what you think and uh, we'll see you next time